Well, hello, good morning. It's a bit of a mad scramble. I'm a bit frantic, but I'm excited because I haven't done this type of fish. I haven't done much fishing lately just because the rain's been horrendous and all the creeks have been washed out. But this zone here, it's looking good. It's the best I've seen in a long time. And I haven't done the frogging, creek bashing. You know, I haven't done that since Christmas. There may have been a video that came out, maybe a little bit after. Actually, I lie, I tried it once and the water was just pus. So, yeah, it didn't really pay off. It was a terrible session. So, today, hoping that it can, um, the sun will come out. It's kind of been like, does it rain, does it shine? I wish it'd make up its mind, but I'm hoping today we can get five hours of good weather to just get some shit done. So, that's what we're gonna do. Motoring in here now. The tide is dropping, so we're a little bit late, but let's get it. Now I need to quickly look for a little land based session with this yesterday. I need to quickly um, set this rod up with a new leader and such, so I'll do that now. I use this Tiagra leader, it's a floating leader. It's for top water, you kind of want a floating leader. Where's that going in at? I might go a diesel minnow, I think. Uh, opting for the five inch. Diesel minnow. That should get belted. There you go. Fully weedless presentation. Perfecto. Alright, let's do this. So we got that. First little port of call is this. Is this little zone. So that'll be still cast pretty good weightless. And you just drag it across the top and it does its thing. Like that. Looks like a little mullet or a little little five inch mullet or a little bait fish just cruising on the top, just distressed. Keep that little bit of a chin weight on there, keeps it down, keeps it from rolling over that. Stops that paddle tail from rolling over, which is can be a problem if you go full weightless, I've noticed, but uh, we should be right here, should be all good. First little zone is here. I might not get them here, but it's more like more up here. I'm excited about across the back, but I might pick one or two up here. Possible. Casting. I mean, I probably should. Lots, so many people ask me about casting, but that's how I cast with spin, with the finger on the spool. And I can just do it all one-handed, and I can feather the spool as well, if need be. You know. So that's. I should do a full sort of thing on that. If people would find that useful but I'm gonna try this for a bit and I just I let go of my finger where it, you know where I want to, where I point it I let go of my finger when it gets there you know oh turtle bloody turtle down there spooking everything yeah so anyways I should do something the frog seems to be the seems to be the ticket but we will persevere with this for a little bit, just for something a little different. Oh, there we go. What's that? Little something. No, little tarp on. That's what it was. Little tarp ons out here. Just zipping around. Mm, thought we might see a little little barra, but it did get nuked by that turtle. <laughs> Super nuked. <laughs> Super nuked by the turtle. Uh, we'll keep moving. Old Turtle's made his home there now, eh? Virtually nothing on that. Basically nothing. Trusty white frog. Let's see how that fucking works. Oh, there's one. Oh, f yeah. I miss it. Get it back in there. Might eat it again. I 
miss it. Damn! The white frog dies pretty much as soon as I put that on. Oh my goodness. Fuck you, fish bro. Come on, there's gotta be something in there. Oh, I was thinking, come on. Nah, didn't get it. It's only small, eh? Hey, dead one. Got him, little fella. Little buzzy. Don't spit it. Need a bit of a morale boost at the minute. There we go. The white frog. Got so many hits. Straight up. As soon as I put it on, the trusty white frog. Little fella, probably about what, 50. About 50 he'd be. About 50. Hey, come here, you're not going anywhere. There we go, little 50s frog. There we go, little buzz, little 50, only just hooked. That's why you don't muck around with them. Fleshy, fleshy gums, old oh, fleshy gums. But yeah, very cool, get him back in, eh? Good little start for us. Good little start for us. Hey mate. There we go. He's good. Alright. Put me little froggy back together. Slide him back up. Look at that. Good to go. Good to go. Keep going. Yeah, the white frog man seems to do it like probably only five minutes of throwing that white frog and Got a couple of inquiries and then got the bite, got the land of the fish, so something about it, eh? It's the top, it's the top conversion lure, that's for sure. This water's a little bit murky, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's up in there. Some stuff going on. Really? That's fucking surprising. That there's nothing sitting in this little drain here. I mean, surely, hey. Surely. Surely, really? I don't believe it. I actually don't believe that. That there's nothing sitting here. There, got him. Yep, got him. Oh, he's going around that stick. Let's go in and get this one. Oh, no, he's out. He spat me. Damn. He sort of ate it and missed it, pulled it under the water. Then I just saw my frog go, like, start to float back up and then just poof, disappear. And then he just ran straight around there. I was like, no, nah, I'll go in and get him. I'll go in and get him, and then as soon as I let let the pressure off, because Barry will do that, as soon as you let the pressure off, they'll just be like, oh, okay, nothing's wrong, and then just comes over here, spits my frog out. So, yeah, well, there was something, something sitting in there, I just couldn't convert it. That's just angler error there. Ah, not much I could have done, really. It might move, eh? Very dirty here. Don't like it. Don't like it being. Don't like it being this dirty. So let's cruise out of here. Go up to the next zone. Try and find cleaner water this way. Let's see what happens. Well, ridiculously different conditions on an eight nine minute boat ride over here. I should have started up here. So I thought, no, nah, I'll go down and have a look there and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm looking at this, I'm going, I should have started here. Because I'm 
it's, time's getting on now, like this, with this tide, so. Yeah, I should have started up this. Alrighty. You can see we're getting on. Tide's getting on. First cast. Might even just keep track of how many casts over this side before we find a jack. And zero jack inquiries down the other end. Zero. They're all barras. And barras annoy me sometimes because they're hopeless. Oh, bull shark. Big bully. Look at it. On the, onto the, onto the frog. Oh. Hi, <laughs> oh, Jackie. Ah, spooked him. <laughs> he was sliced me like a bloody, whatever, like a shark. Sliced me like a shark. <laughs> Not what I was going for there. Oh, there's a barramundi. Yep, he's on. He's on. He's on. Where there's sharks, there's barrens. No, I don't know if that's a rule or not, but another little fella. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Very good. Look at him buffing. He's just buffing. Hey, come on. Sort of woke up a bit, didn't you, mate? Alright, oh, come on. In you come. Hey, there we go. Hey, he's a little chunk. Well, it is good to be frogging again. Look at that. That white frog. I know they're rats, but you know, surface, it's just the best thing ever. So, white frog's good. They seem to be pretty fired up. So, probably three, four years old, that fish. So, perfecto. Pretty much. Off you go. Barra inquiries now. Yet to see a junk, eh? It's weird. It is weird. Don't know what's going on there, but I'm sure we'll get one. These two corners look good. Usually these little corners where a little, it'd be a little branch, a little arm, that won't go far up there. That goes for eight. This is sort of the main bit. Yeah, these little edges, these little drains, and I wouldn't classify that as a drain, but you know what I mean? Offshoot, generally pretty good for fish. So we will see. Back with the frog. Oh, so many mullet. Oh my God. So many mullet there. If you're a mullet, you would die. I was too busy looking at their mullets. My goodness. A few barramundis around, eh? There's another shark. Let's see if we can get him to bite. Look at that. Oh, shark bit it. <laughs> oh my god, what a leader. Well, he didn't leave any bites or nothing in it, but he had a crack. He had a crack. <laughs> <gasps> Little turds, eh? Oi! Paracutas. Paracutas strike 100%. Shark. Shark's onto it. Doesn't want it, old Sharky. Spooked him. Oi! That's one. That's a jack, is it? Yeah, finally. You gonna come out? You gonna play, little Jackie? Come on, little Jack. He just got wrapped around that little mangrove. Little, little red fella, finally. See, he hit me right on the mangrove root. He knew what he's doing. He knew what he was doing. He said, oh, I'll grab that before he drifts past. And then he'll be too he'll be too far gone. He won't be able to get me out. Man, I will get you out. It's the last thing that I do. Rhino, come on, come on. Come on, what are you doing down there? Come out the other way, please. Oop, we're going into the groves here. Oh, where are you? I saw you. There he is. I got him. 
Gotcha. You're troublesome, eh? All troublesome. Oh, it's a little, a little tanky tank. A little tank zone. <laughs> Here we go. A little tank. Yeah. That's the bit that went through all the groves. Let me just pull that back because he's taken me through about five sticks. Back there. I just cut that hook off because he dragged me through all there. He's gonna. I'm gonna drop him here in a minute. I need some fingertip tips from the fingertip boys, but we ain't got time for that. We we'll just get him done, give you a little bit of a look at him. I'll pull that hook out and get him back in the water, eh? All right, he's barking, he's carrying on, he's got heaps of energy. So, he's got so much energy, that dude, eh? If we get this stick here, there might be a dude sitting on the outside of the stick. Outside of this stick. Nothing. 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 Back of the stick, maybe. Outside of this stick. Nothing. Inside on the stump, possible, yep, jack, was that a, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a jack, fighting like a jack, yeah, there you go, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like the stumps there, barrels will be on the outside, jacks will be up on the stumps, barrels more on the outside there, so there we go, little jacko, little jacky, alrighty, little jacko there, Simple little tactic there of just flicking the outsides of those stumps, the insides of those stumps along the edges here in this shallow. See, you can't take it. Big brown flash, big red flash. Oh my god, you got it in there, eh? Can you let go of it for me, champ? I want to help you, help me, help you, man. Help me help you. Little fella, back he goes. Keep cruising, it's pretty much like that all the way along here, just bits and bobs, so. Yeah, we'll keep cruising, we might pick a couple more up before we have to get off this, this zone, because there just won't be enough water here, so. It is what it is. Got a bit hung up. Ooh, sort of nuked the whole zone now. Big shark swimming in there. You're not happy. You're not happy about me being here. Yeah, oh well. Can't win them all. Oh, get off there. Hey, that's a good one. Oh my god, he's gone nuts. Jacko gone nuts in there. Big spool grabber. I don't think he's real big, but he just fucking took off, eh? And I've got him on the, got him on that first root. Got him on that first root there. Yeah, he's still there. Let's see if he'll come off. I don't know if he's under it or over it or what is he? Can't see. Can't really see. Can't really see him. Can't see him, can't see him, can't see him. He's just sitting there, he's just lying there now. That's it, he's just standing there. Is he coming out or what? What's he got me bricked in? Oh, okay, he's got me through three. Got me through three of those things there. That's why. Oh, I see him there. Yeah, I see him. I see him just sitting on that log there, eh? There he 
there he is. Hey, come on, come on. See, I just let pressure off and he came out. Oh, he's a little tank too. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, he's a tank. <laughs> a little tanker. Look how full his belly is. Crazy. He's, uh, that's what, that's what jack fishing in the groves is all about and that shallow frog and stuff like. They just take off, they just hit and run. So, not a big fish, you know, that mid 40s. Uh, try and get that out, you smash that pretty hard, eh? But yeah, pretty cool. He's got the biggest belly on him, he's been feeding up and he smells horrendous. <laughs> no, what he's been eating, but he smells, eh? Crabs and stuff, probably no doubt. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Took off like a train. Love it, I absolutely love it, eh? The most impatient jack, but you can see his belly there. It's pretty sick. Go. Oh, he's full of beans, like no dramas at all. Full of beans. Kind of look. Well, that might do me. Good little session. Actually, well, I'm not going home. I'm just going to go do something else. So I'll put this away. Pull this up. Mission accomplished in that regard.